Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So we're going to do two videos for this week number 11 of Tech Tuesday. So video number one is going to be Yamaha Secret Menu Setup, which is one of the most viewed on our channel. And then we're going to do one that's helped probably the most people, which is Receiver HDMI Issue. And uh, that'll be video number two. So anyway, I hope you like it. hope you subscribe. And thanks a lot. Hello, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. I'm going to give you a quick overview on uh, the advanced setup menu, or better known as the secret menu of the Yamaha Avantage uh, receivers. Um, I believe this is from receiver models that would start from 2016, so the, the 750, for example, all the way up into the new models, for example, an 880 or a 680. And uh, there's a bunch of settings in here, and most of this is going to be related to uh, 4K content. So it seems like that's been the big hurdle in the industry is people are updating to 4K TVs, uh, 4K projectors, and uh, they're just not getting the full benefit of their unit or they're actually not getting video at all and having problems um, and, you know, start just swapping out components or saying the receiver's bad or their TV's bad, bad HDMI. Generally, that's not the case. It's, it's generally a setting on the TV or the receiver um, or your source, uh, such as a, uh, you know, Sony Blu-ray player or so on. So overall, what I'm going to do is show you just a quick, uh, probably a two-minute overview, three-minute overview of some of the settings under the advanced menu, um, secret menu. So what you're going to want to do is set the unit in standby mode, and you actually hold the uh, power and straight button down at the same time as shown here in a, a real-time video at a customer's home. And you can see it's pretty straightforward. I, I went directly to the 4K Mode 1 and Mode 2 setting um, as that's what we were working on this home. We actually switched a customer's uh, HDMI cable out to an optical and uh, it bumped it up to the Mode 1. By not having the optical cable, it would not do the Mode 1 up to his projector. So you, you can see right there it's a real-time fix a lot of the time. Um, so in the Advanced Setup menu, there's several items here. Um, they're all right here, but I'll run them down through. Um, if you have the manual, it's page 150 through 154, and uh, I'll skip by a few of these. But uh, speaker impedance, you shouldn't have to change that. Um, remote ID, the only time you would change that is if the odd case you had one or two of these units stacked together. Maybe you had a surround system in a living and a sound round system in a bonus in the same closet, and you're using a uh, like a Harmony remote and uh, you want to have an IR, you would do that. Most of the time we set these up uh, 232 control off RTI, so we don't have to deal with that. Um, FM, AM, FM tuning, you shouldn't really have to do much with that. I believe that's a European format um, issue. TV format, so NTSC is US, PALS, most of Europe. Shouldn't have to change that. Um, monitor check, so this is a neat one. This is, uh, this has, we've ran into this problem with some uh, audio video balance where you actually have to skip this because for some reason the balance throwing off something and uh, the receiver thinks you have a like a 1080p TV and not a 4k TV um, and then this is the one that we're finding on most of the projects we're working on you got mode 1 mode 2 so for example certain video balance work perfect absolutely perfect in mode 2 and you flip it to mode 1 and it will not display video at all uh, this is the same case, for example, we had a full-on 18 gigabit certified uh, HDMI cable running up to a TV. It would work in mode 1, uh, not in mode, uh, excuse me, it would work in mode 2, not in mode 1. And we switched out to an optical HDMI cable that was powered, and it worked perfectly in mode 1 and actually seemed to speed the uh, switching up between uh, HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, the customer had three 4K type devices plugged in. Um, so hopefully this will help. You can see the different formats. Um, you're you're going to need to have it in mode 1 if you want the most output of your unit or the best bang for your buck. And then some other items. This audio related. So you got DTS mode. Certain Blu-ray players. This The Yamaha just won't see the DTS-X standard. So you have to go in there and put it in mode 2. And then some more installer type uh, settings would be backup. So we actually back up our 2080 and 3080 projects um, just because of the complexity we usually get about an hour hour and a half to setting those up we want to keep those backed up in a file in our cabinet 
and then uh, shouldn't have to restore the default settings ever. Uh, check firmware. Um, that's wise if you're on a phone call with tech support or you just want to know the version you have to write down in a book or something. And then update the firmware. Um, really shouldn't have to do it by USB. Um, network's the best way to go. So anyway, I hope this will help with uh, 4K settings on that with the secret menu. And then the only other thing on this video is I'm going to jump down on the book to uh, pages 128 through 130. And what you've got here is a few different uh, outputs for the HDMI resolution. And the one that's important here, in my opinion, is there's the direct. So most of these systems we work on, I remove the processing and bump it to direct. Let's let the... Uh, Let's let the source device and the TV do their job. There's no reason for the Yamaha to be involved in trying to process the resolutions. Um, but you can see there's a few other settings here. Aspect. Um, there's some ARC and audio settings, which I'll do a bunch of videos on ARC coming up with the different uh, TV manufacturers. They all seem to do it differently. And now you've got eARC and a few other things. So lots of stuff going on. And then you've got some standby mode settings and a few other HDMI settings. So anyway, I hope this uh, info will work. Hope this helps with the secret menu, and you have a good day.